up guys welcome to tech tips and if you recently bought an m1 mac maybe macbook air mac pro or the new imac if you connect your old printers probably five to six year old usb printers through either a dongle or through adapter we'll find that the print is not working in the m1 mac now that has to do something with uh, the software and not the hardware okay so so normally what you do is you go to 123.hp.com slash setup you come to this page and you download this software which is basically for every intel mac and windows computer as well as linux computer you will get this app called hp start app so once you open the hp start app uh, you you can see the printer is detected so as you can see my printer which is hp test jet 1510 uh, which is this one and it's successfully detected okay and when I will click on say setup, continue. Now what it does is it basically tells you to download the HP Smart App from the App Store. As you can see, install the latest HP soft, Smart Software. So basically, uh, it's explanatory that you know get the safe app from the App Store. Once you click on Get App, it will take you to continue online. When you go to continue online, it will take you to the App Store okay and there you will find this called app called hp smart but the problem is the hp smart app doesn't detect the printer okay this hp smart app doesn't detect the printer at all and the hp easy start app does detect the printer so that's because of m1 only because this is actually an intel version so it runs under rosetta it detects your printer but this is the which is to be made for m1 probably they optimize the wi-fi uh drivers but they forget to update the old usb drivers i don't know so normally if you go to uh the the apple logo go to system preferences and if you go to the printer you can see the printer is detected but you won't be able to print uh, it will just stuck or it won't continue so in this video we are finding the solution to this problem so let's get to the desktop and find the solution so what is the solution to this problem so all I have to do is you have to just go to the link in the video description and you have to download this which is HP printer driver 5.1 for Mac OS. So this is the driver for Intel Mac and you have to just click on download because on HP site uh, it will always take you to the HP smart app in the app store. So that's of no use because that's not working. Now this is probably 600 MB file so it will take time. So let's go to the Apple logo, go to system preferences. As you can see, now it's just so offline, so it won't work. Sometimes it shows online, sometimes it shows errors, and even if it's just showing online, it still sometimes doesn't work. So you just go and click on reset printing system and you click reset. So now it will reset the printing system. This is the first step you want to do, and download this DMG file, which is basically the Intel Mac drivers. So once you download this, uh, it will ask you to basically verify your Touch ID or input your password and will install and Mac OS is smart enough to delete the installation file as well. So once you install, now what is the next step? Now I will I have already installed it so I will just cancel it. But once you install, you have to again go to the system preferences. You have to go to printers and scanners. Now you have to press this plus icon. Now that you are on this screen, make sure your printer is turned on and connect the printer either through dongle or adapter of your choice i will put it in the first port and you can see it appears and you just click once and it automatically added as you can see now that's because it says use hp desert 1510 this was not, not the case earlier earlier it was on the general pcl printer but once you install this rosetta hp driver uh, it automatically detects this is the gesture 1510 now again you will see you can also select the software and then select hp in it but it, do, it doesn't work that way so i tried that way as well when only once you install under rosetta it detects it automatically selects and now you can just add now as you see it automatically get added for me so i won't add it again so i will just close this dialog 
and you can see my HP printer is now connected it's an idle and the printing will now work normally now you will say again okay printing works what about other features like you know cleaning cartridges now this printer also has scanner so what about scanning features and everything well you can still access that so as you can see you have scan option and you can open scanner using the Mac OS Canada okay that's normal but there's some other features as well if you go to uh, if you go to option like options and supplies and if you go to utility you can say open printer utility and once you open printer this is your familiar HP app which is on Windows Mac and Linux so all this, uh, you you can't find it in the app drawer if you go to our drawer you won't find it you just find the HP smart app but it's, this is not the app what we want uh, but you can you do everything so for example let me you can, you can clean your paper feed uh, you can test it so let's test let's generate a test page as you can see it started and it's lively updated on the mac os printing test page there you have it the test page printed perfectly fine now your printer works on your m1 mac hope this was useful if you liked it give a thumbs up subscribe to the tech show if you're not already if you have already subscribed make sure there's a like bu like button and join our telegram group as well as discord group thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video bye bye now